نحمدو و نسلی اللہ رسول کریم وی ول ڈیمانسٹریٹ دا ایڈمیشن ورک فلو ان دس پریزنٹیشن اینڈ وی کین سی دیٹ آل دا فنکشنلٹی آف ایڈمیشن از آن دا سیم اسکرین دس از دا اسکرین آن وچ وی پرفارم آل اوور فنکشن ڈیورنگ دا ایڈمیشن پروسیس اینڈ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو بگن ایکسپلینگ اٹ block by block here we have candidate id which is automatically generated by the system and is used for internal purposes we identify the gender of the candidate the date we are entering this record name of the candidate date of birth cell number father's name occupation of the father cell number of the father and residence number religion of the candidate nationality Facebook ID, if any, email address, the major that he, she is interested in, the year that they got their matriculation completed, the marks out of 400 or any other total, and obviously this is changeable, in annual supplementary, the institute that he, came, he she came from, the address, zone, we can divide a particular province into any number of zones of our interest and then later we can get reporting based on this zone to see if we were doing well given that zone we have got city district province country major that the student is interested in to apply for at this institute the fee structure for example if he would pay quarterly yearly or monthly Uh, this again is editable via a uh, form. The user can add, delete these and maintain it based on whatever the requirement of the organization and the policy. If hostel will be required and transports are required, then we have got uh, any suggestion and we can expand this text box by current pressing control and key E on the keyboard. Once we are done typing, we can press OK and the data will be sent back to this text box. The admission date, if the student got the admission, um, the reason I'm using the word student instead of candidate is because when they are admitted, they become a student. The form um, that was issued, the form, the number that were on the form that was submitted by the user from the prospectus, A card is usually issued, a provisional card is issued and we would like to know the expiry of that card. That is a provisional card given out only for a, for a limited time before the exam. The candidate CNIC, the father's CNIC, the seat number that is assigned to the student for examination and this is already pre-planned and the data is already entered into the system. The only thing the agent does, the agent is the person who handles the candidate. So if he presses control L, he will see only the available seats and this is predefined so I can go through how test arrangements are done in another video. Then we have got uh, seat details which are again displayed from there. The score that the student achieves, this, uh, sorry, the candidate achieves in the test. Um, this displays the seat details, the interview once the test is cleared. The student moves on, the candidate moves on to the interview process and remarks. This is the grid, uh, this is the block that handles the different stages of uh, the admission process and we would like to know which date the student came in, which date he or she submitted the form, on which date did the candidate um, uh, appear in the test, which date uh, the, uh, the, the candidate was interviewed and so on and so forth. And this is, uh, that is, uh, th this uh, reports based on this uh, status are used for planning the whole admission process. Um, we have got financial journal in which if a prospectus is uh, purchased, and what I'll do is try to uh, I'll retrieve some existing data so that, uh, so that we can see how this functions and that way we will understand better so i'll put in a percentage sign which is a wild card put the month uh, that i'm interested in and the year 
This will retrieve me all the candidates or students who came during this month for admission. These are certain permissions that Oracle would ask you for and what I'll do is move on to a record that has a picture on there so that you can see that we can upload pictures during the admission process and that is what is used to print um, a provisional ID that is carried by the candidate for interview and for test, particularly for the test hall. So let's say we have got this and we can now see you know all the fields are filled in and we can see that the prospectus fee, uh, fee which was 100, uh, 1000 is already there we can print invoice and everything is made simple so that the admission agent doesn't have to move back and forth between different screens so most of the screens are made available here and most of the buttons are already set to print a specific thing now the category M2 that we see here is uh, something that is based on the score of the of this student which is 911 out of 1100 and these categories are predefined so the system has these setup files from where it can figure out what category the student belong to then if we look at this grade uh, this block we have got past academic details we can enter all the the history of the student their selves in finding out which you know the where do we get most of our candidates from which particular institute and then we have got uh, admitted candidate relatives we keep this record so that we can talk to the relatives if in case the student has any questions or have any need any kind of assistance we get the relative name cell phone email and skype id in this block we have got admission application detail in which we would like to know which campus the student is interested in the program that he is interested in which term that he would like to enroll in the major what's his first priority second third and so on then we have got student posting uh, student posting only happens when the candidate turns into a student and then he or she is posted to a particular campus now it could be that the student doesn't like that and maybe for the next semester he would want to move to another campus we can make another entry in the next line and, and make an uh, enter an end date for this and enter starting date for the new posting and this is printed out on a white sheet because we already uh, have a pre-printed so we didn't add any graphics on top or bottom of the of the screen and what i would do is uh, move on to the next uh, step once this student is registered and we are done with the, all all the processes of uh, testing and interviewing we then register the student in academic unit that is what I'll do is we already have data on this one so what I'll do is uh, retrieve the record to show you how this process works we have the students in first year pre-medical 2014-15 in college and the amount that we have charged him is only 10,000 because he qualified for the merit scholarship and we can print out the payment plan in payment plan I'll see a printout which is usually handed over to the student to indicate that this is the amount that is due by 1st of July 2014. Now if we print this payment plan we will be able to see the difference and this is handed, uh, handed out to the student so that they know the amount that is due throughout the year in uh, we can see there is uh, 25 lines payment plan total amount that the student is supposed to pay is 78,000 now this unit offer that we see here is already um, planned entered into the system and we can go through this process in a separate video because here what I am trying to explain is just the admission system these payment schemes are already made and i would like to explain a little bit of the payment scheme 
which in this case is there are only 24 payments of 3000 uh, with one with a monthly interval then we have got one amount of 12,000 which will be due again after 12 months then we have got 24 more of 2500 in the next year but that will be after 12 months now if you look here um, in this block we have uh, a date 1st of July 2012 and that is when the payment plan begins this is how the academic uh, plan works is when the student is uh, registering for an academic uh, unit the payment plan is automatically uh, made and this is reflected in the account so on the back certain vouchers are made a few uh, vouchers are made to update the accounting books i'll exit from this screen and go to the services uh, service registration screen and services are the hostel and the transport that is made available to the students and maybe uh, a student would register in a hostel or in a transport and they may choose not to register for any service so the same uh, functionality is repeated here and the payment plan is again uh, obviously for a different purpose and this payment plan when printed is handed over to the student uh, so that they would know when the amounts are due. Then we have got subsidiary voucher which is used for uh, handling the finances of uh, students and this is not a general purpose voucher because we have a student selected here and we can see the balances, the total balance and we can see the ledger in these grades. Uh, in this case the student has paid 16,000 but if we are curious to find out, you know, what amounts were uh, due or are still due, we can choose ICMS 900 and I can view the ledger also. So this is specifically designed for receiving amounts from the students and is not a general purpose voucher. Then we have got printout of provisional ID uh, and this is based on the kind of printer that we are using. It prints out in center. This one prints out uh, on the right side. We have to print out an initial invoice uh, to the student that is due at the time of admission. And uh, let me pull up the invoice. This is how it prints out and on a pre-printing pre-printed paper. The first one is a student copy, the second is a bank copy, and then we have got the accounts copy. We have got initial invoice for the services that is handed to the students and that has just two copies because that is uh, received by the school itself. There is no bank copy in this case. Then we have got entry pass once the student is uh, enrolled for a test. The entry pass is a printout and uh, the 8 means 8th row, the 26 means the seat number in that row. And uh, these are the details. So presenting this and this is again printed on a pre-printed hard uh, card. And he uh, is supposed to present this at the entry of the hall and then we've got interview pass in which the name of the members and detail of what time slot uh, is given to the candidate is mentioned but this student didn't make it to the interview level and we can see that these fields are empty and this is where most of the most of the processing takes place if you look here we have got some other reports like ad admission activity report major wise summary, provisional ID, regular ID, stickers for exam, uh, zone details. This is when we want to see, you know, uh, get a report on the zones. And it's a very comprehensive system and multi-user is accessible via the internet. So this can be used on multiple locations simultaneously and we have used this and we know that this functions smoothly. Thank you for watching this presentation.